morning. Oh my goodness, I am oh, I'm tired. It's 10 o'clock. I've probably been up for a little over an hour, but uh, this is my this is, um, if you don't know me, uh, I usually lay in bed in the big like the very first I don't know half hour and just look at TikTok because everything usually happens in the stray kids universe when I'm asleep. So my first thing I do is check TikTok in case something happened while I was asleep. But today's release day! Yay! It kind of doesn't feel like right. I don't, I don't even know how it feels. It doesn't feel like release day. I actually have all my content scheduled or for like my Instagram posts and my Facebook posts and stuff. So I have to send out a newsletter. And then I also have to post like stories and stuff and repost anything that you guys post. Um, and yeah, I have client work to do this afternoon or this morning kind of. And then I am going out with a friend tonight to celebrate. Just releasing a book. So, you know, that's fun. I wanted to do something kind of like really fun for book 10, but then time kind of got away from me. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm going to do. I'm like, a, such a homebody, like... I bought me a cookie cake, so I think that's good enough. Here's a picture. I'll put a picture in right here. I already cut into it, or else I would show you right now. I actually got it yesterday. Quick had to take photos because my mom and my family wanted to eat it, so um, I kind of didn't really have time to like stop and be like, okay, I have this for a day. Let's chillax, which is fine. It was, it was cute that she asked. She's like, can you run me over some cookie cake? I'm like... Let me take some pictures first. <laughs> I do have to clean today at some point a little bit. Just like the normal tidy up because things are not tidy. And it's kind of getting to a point where I am feeling a little crazy because of it. I'm going to have some coffee and we are going to drink it. <laughs> I'm so, I'm like, I'm turning into that, that those kind of people who are like, don't talk to me before coffee. And I don't know how I feel about it. Yesterday, when my family member was sitting over, I came downstairs. I'm like, I love you so much, but I feel like I will murder if I don't have coffee in me. So, like, give me five minutes. And then I'm like, I'm turning into one of those people. Oh, no. Which, I guess it's not, like, a total bad thing. It's just funny to me because, like, I... I never thought I would be that person because actually I hated coffee for the longest time. And now we are two cups a day and cannot live without it. Release days are always weird because like I feel like I need to do something like fantastic. But I also feel like a little bit tired on release days, you know. It's one of the funnest days of publishing, like the initial release day. It can be stressful, but for me, it is one of the funnest days. Kind of like cover reveal day because, like, everybody's talking about your book and posting about your book on release day and cover reveal day, so it's really exciting. And then it's like the days after release day that gets stressful and scary, or like when the reviews start coming in. So right now, we're living for it. It's also a little strange because, like, normally I don't go out with people on release days. That's later. That's at 6. They're coming to pick me up at 6. So I have several hours until then to get some work done, work on the client work that I have, drink my coffee, finish my episode of my dearest. I want to finish that so bad. I had to stop in the middle two days ago and I am like, oh, um, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I want to read it. Not read it. Watch it. Oh, wow. This manuscript later today is going to be so fast. It's only 36 pages. We should look at the fake Dana football player. Amazon page, didn't we? <gasps> There's one review already. Wow. Oh, I should probably see if everybody's posted on Instagram because it's 10 o'clock and I've already posted my, my post. My post has been posted. We have posted everything onto Facebook and my personal Facebook that I want to do. Next, it is email marketing time. So it is newsletter time. This is too high of a prop. It's 10.31. Happy release day to... No, I guess happy release day. I think it's the ball player. I guess that's fine. I think that was the first release week where I really didn't release day. I didn't really update the vlog, but hi, it's the daily after. It's 11 almost, 10 minutes to 11, and I'm going to be working on, um, actually I'm probably just going to be working on drinking my coffee first because I am very much so dead tired. Also, 
I don't know if it's in this vlog or if it's in the last vlog, but do you remember when I said I was manifesting flowers? Listen, guys, I don't know what manifesting is, and I, don't, I, don't, I still don't know if I believe in it. But, like, excuse me? Excuse me? My head hurts really bad, too, and I don't know if it's just from poor sleep. I had my books. I got my books um, for the signed copies yesterday, so I'm going to actually package those today. Um, maybe tomorrow if things actually get too busy, because I do have a little bit of client work. But look how beautiful she is. She's thick. She's pretty. And I love her to pieces. I hope I order enough that I get to keep a copy because that would be very sad if I didn't. <laughs> now I'm finally getting to watch the rest of the episode of My Dearest. I didn't get a chance to finish it the other day when I said I wanted to. So I'm finally going to be able to watch it. Hello. It's later today, that the same day. It's 5.45. It's time for the second copy of the day. I just woke up for my nap. I, I want to put you somewhere so I can talk to you because my arm hurts. I still haven't finished my episode of My Dearest. It's literally on my TV right now. I will finish you. I'm coming. Um, I have my live stream tonight at seven, so that's about in an hour-ish. Yeah, about an hour and 15 minutes, so we have time um, before that. 10-ish minutes left of My Dearest, so I wanna watch that. Um, and then I wanna write a little bit. I have been meaning to write um, for the past few days. Obviously yesterday I was very busy. Um, you know, book release, posting, celebrating, that sort of thing. I need to edit my video, to be honest, and finish up my client work. I have one client work today, um, and then I have one tomorrow. The one tomorrow is short. The one today is not that long, though. The sunlight peeking through the blinds is so pretty, but, like, I know if I open it, whoa. I know if I open it, it'll be just too much. Fake dating football players, actually, it was number one in the teen clean and wholesome category this morning. Right now it's number two. Um, so far it has eight reviews. So if you guys actually had a chance to read it uh, in, as an ARC, don't forget to head on over to Amazon and leave a review. And if you leave a review on Amazon, if you want to use a picture, it kind of boosts your review a bit more. But somebody used a review and their picture is at the top. So a lot of you have said this is your favorite book of the most likely series. A lot of you have said this is your favorite book of mine ever, which honestly I'm so honored about and I'm so excited about. Obviously I don't sound excited because I just kind of woke up, but I, I think back about it and I'm like, you know, I think this honestly might be one of my favorite books. Story-wise, I feel like I love the story to it. It's kind of giving me like, um, not necessarily, but it's kind of on the same level for me as Two Kinds of Us. I love... Two Kinds of Us's story. That book never really was like my most popular one, but I love the sort of like she is one version of herself, but she's also a different version of herself. And you know, the history between her and her her boyfriend are like it's deeper than like surface level sort of happy go lucky typical young adult romances that I write. Like Fake Dating the Football Player feels like it's on just a different level than What Are Friends For, which is the first book that I've written. Even though the title kind of has that same feel to it. I feel like fake dating the football player. It deals with different stuff. And like even though it's a fake relationship romance like out of my league, I feel like I just love how it's executed in this book is so like so much. Um and I just love the shy guy kind of trope, you know. I, I've always loved shy guys over the confident type of guys in books. Sometimes sometimes confident can come off like you know, cocky and, you know, abrasive. And sometimes that's that's very nice. But then you have the shy guys and they're just cute and awkward and unintentionally funny. And I just love them so much. Where is my shy guy? <laughs> um, But yeah, so I just want to thank you guys who have read so far. If you have reviewed, if you've recommended to your uh, friends, thank you so much. It was a good 10th book released a 10th book and i'm excited to see what's next even i don't know to be honest even i even though i'm working on a book right now even i don't know what's gonna happen anything could happen to be honest my hair looks so long i swear i swear i don't know what happened like i feel like it, i feel like it grew so much like what wasn't it shorter before i don't understand this has been a month but my hair doesn't grow that much in a month i love you all to pieces and i'll see you when i see you I don't know. Ding! <laughs> well, if I got one, only because I don't check my mailbox. I have my bills. I get, like, um, so... 
really, I don't get mail coming to my mailbox. I'm so mad at myself because I spent last night on the uh, live stream editing today's YouTube video. It's all edited. I had the thumbnail made. I forgot to load it up into YouTube so it would actually publish at noon. So now it's like 1.30. Yeah, 1.30 and I, it's not published, so. But I need coffee. I got this shirt from Old Navy and I've never shopped at Old Navy before, but it's so soft and cute. Also, I put my trash out, but now that I'm thinking about it, it's Labor Day, they probably are not collecting trash today. Okay, so like nobody else has their trash cans out, but I don't know if that's because maybe they've already gone. Everybody knows. No, wait, there's a trash can over there. It has stuff. Yeah, so I'm assuming it's not today. I was going to say, I put it out last night and I was on the phone with my dad because it was late. And I'm like, I'm scared of doing this, but then I'm thinking about it now. I'm like, oh, it's Labor Day. It's a holiday. They're not probably working today. <sighs> I hope they're not. I hope they have a great day with their family. I'm so tired. I don't know what happened today. I wasn't even up that late. I don't feel like I think I was up to like 2 maybe. Well, hmm, that's late. But I woke up at 9.50. I was on my phone for TikTok for a little bit. And then I fell back to sleep. And I woke up probably 20 minutes ago at like 1.10. So I don't know what happened. I think it was maybe all the time out in the sun yesterday kind of wiped me out. It usually does. The sun and I were not great friends. Yeah, I don't know. It was just weird. I have, why are all of my cabinets open? <laughs> Weird. And then this one was open because this one you were propped in, but what in the world? First thing that I need to do before watching TV for the hour is loading up that YouTube video. So we're gonna take my coffee, mosey over to my little spot, and we're gonna fix. I can't believe I didn't do that. I can't believe I didn't schedule it last night. I'm such a dummy. I swear this TV show. I'm just like constantly so like about it that it's 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 kind of hilarious. I'm just now realizing I don't think I have tissue paper. Uh, oh, I did have bubble mailers left. I bought some. Okay, wait, we have some. It's just red. That's all right. Why did it go three? Stop, 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 stop. What is going on? Yeah. What in the world was that all about? I'm so confused as to what's happening right now. I'm so confused. That one stopped. What? Okay, so I don't know what's going on. I don't know how to fix it. <laughs> I have too many more to put to, to do. Okay, 
Here we go. No. No. S stop. Yeah! I want to lose my marbles. I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to lose my mind. Okay, we got everything we needed. I don't know what that the deal is with this. I'll figure it out later. It's like ticking me off. I don't know what's going on. Why is it so toasty? Thank <laughs> you.